Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of each element here inside of cobalt 2 nitrate. And the first step in order to do that is we have to find the total mass. All right, so let's take a look at this table to figure that out. Bam, so to fill out the first column, what we need to do is write down the elements we see. So we see cobalt in there, CO, we see nitrogen, and we see oxygen. Cobalt, nitrogen, oxygen. Next, we're going to then write down the number of atoms, and this is where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of cobalt, there is a one there. It's not a zero, it's a one. So we have one cobalt. At the bottom of nitrogen here, we also have a one, but nitrogen here is tied up in the nitrate anion, the nitrate polyatomic anion, and you have two of them. So if in each nitrate there's one nitrogen, but you have two nitrates, you'll have two nitrogens then in total. In other words, just simply take the subscript here and multiply it by the outer subscript. Same thing for oxygen. You take the subscript of O in there and then multiply it by its outer subscript, so you'd have a total of six oxygens. Now what you would do is then you would look up the mass of each element where you say, well, periodic table, right? So let's take a look. So we got cobalt here, 58.93, nitrogen and oxygen's masses accordingly. Now the masses here are in gram per mole or AMU, depending upon whether you're talking about molar mass or molecular mass, okay? So let's write these masses down. So 58.93, 58.93. For cobalt, nitrogen was 14.01 and oxygen is 16. Then what we're going to do is we're going to find the total mass now of that particular element in the compound. What we do is we take the mass of a singular atom or a single mole, depending upon, like I said, if you're talking about molar mass or molecular mass, and we're going to multiply it by then the number of atoms or number of moles here, basically. You can also consider that to be the number of moles. Um, the, no, the numbers are the same. So when we multiply this on a cross, it would be 58.93 units of mass. Then for nitrogen, right, this would work out to be 28.02. And then same thing for oxygen, you'd take 6 times 16, so it'd be 96 total units of mass there. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, guess what we have to do? Just simply add this column together. Add up all the total masses of each element now. So that'll be 182.95. And now we finally found the total mass of this entire compound, right? 182.95 units of mass. Now it doesn't matter if you call it gram per mole or AMU, just leave the magnitude, all right? Forget the units. So now in order to calculate the percents, it's very, very simple here. This table is, is super easy. It makes it super easy. All I'm going to do is add another column. Bam. So to find the mass percent of cobalt, all we're simply going to do is take the total mass of that cobalt we calculated, 58.93, and then simply divide it now by the total mass of the entire compound of 182.95, and then multiply it by 100, simple percent formula, part over whole times 100. And when we do this, right, the percentage works out to be roughly 32, 32.21%. We're going to do the same process now for nitrogen. Take the total mass of the nitrogen, 28, hence why we had to find that total mass and stuff, 28.02. Divide that now by 182.95. Multiply that by 100, and we get a percent here of roughly 15.32 15, 15 uh, or so, right, considering the rounding. And then last but not least, we would do the same thing for oxygen. So we do uh, 96, divided then by 182.95, multiply that bad boy by 100, and what are you going to get? You're going to get 52, 52. I don't even know what kind of, there's the two, 52.47 uh, or so, 47%, all right? And what should happen is if you add these together, it should come out to be 100%, all right? And if it doesn't, maybe you made a calculation mistake. It's just a simple way to check. That's all, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helped. And if it did, like and subscribe. Maybe even tell some of your classmates. We appreciate it. Take care.